Hello wannabe mechanics, in this video we will be performing a regular maintenance job on a 2017 Dacia or Renault Logan equipped with the new 0.9 liters TCE engine. The recommended service interval is 20,000 km or once a year when you need to change the oil, oil filter, air filter and the pollen filter. We are also gonna change the spark plugs on the same car because the mileage is over the recommended 40,000 km but you will see that operation in the video that I linked below for the sole purpose of keeping the videos short. Both jobs are very simple even for beginners and they don't imply using a lot of tools. You can order online a service kit for under 100 euros but if you go to a repair shop you will spend a lot of money for something that I find to be the perfect do-it-yourself job. This operation can also be performed on a steady platform on jack stands as long as you respect the instructions shown in our video about safely suspending your car before an operation that requires it. Also by doing it yourself you know exactly what spare parts have been used and also the satisfaction factor is huge. Don't go anywhere guys, I'll meet you back in the shop right after a short intro. Ok guys, let's get started. The tools we will be needing for today are a 10mm socket for the splash shield, an 8mm square socket for the oil pan cap or a homemade improvised 8mm square shaft or the old trick learned from Dacia Logan owners, a door or window handle with an 8mm shaft a 27mm socket for the oil filter, a ratchet wrench to remove the oil filter assembly's cap and an extender to help remove the spark plugs, a T20 Torx to remove the pollen filter, a 14mm spark plug socket Check the link below, some come with extenders if you need one. An 8mm socket to remove the bolts on the ignition coils. Two flat end screwdrivers to remove the air intake manifold so you can gain access to the ignition coils. And the magnet to pull out the spark plugs if the 14mm socket you have isn't magnetized or doesn't have an inner seal. The new components are the new spark plug set, it is a 3 cylinder engine so you will need 3 of them. The pollen filter, try to buy a carbon filter, it's much better than usual ones. The oil filter, we should come with a new rubber seal. The new air filter and of course the engine oil 5W40, you will need 4.1 liters. First of all, place the gear in neutral and pull the handbrake as a safety measure. While the engine is still warm, remove the oil fill cap to get a good constant flow of the used oil. Remove the 6 10mm bolts holding the splash shield.
and here we have the oil filter and the tightening torque of 25.5 Nm. Loosen up the plug using any of the mentioned tools until you can remove it by hand. Place any recipient under it as long as it's tall enough to avoid any oil spill. Put on protective gloves as the oil will be quite hot. Remove the plug and wait for the oil to drain for about half an hour. Loosen the oil filter assembly cap using the 27mm socket. When the oil starts dripping, remove the cap and don't forget about the protective gloves. This is the oil filter assembly cap with the old seal. Clean off as much as you can of the old oil with a clean cloth or at least one that has been used for the same purpose. Remove the old seal using a screwdriver and clean the cap with a cloth. Put on the new seal and apply some oil on it so it won't tear when you thread the cap back in. Insert the new oil filter in position and thread the cap back over the filter. Set the torque wrench to the 25.5 Nm written on the cap and tighten it till the wrench makes the clicking sound. Place the copper washer back on the plug and thread the plug back in. You can just hand tighten it to a reasonable torque. The copper washer is meant to help you not over tighten it. Place the splash shield back on and you are done working under the car. Make sure you checked for any leaks prior to that.
pour the new oil until you get 4.1 liters inside, you can always check the indicating marks on the oil bottle. Spread the fill cap back on and check the oil level. It should be just over the maximum level. Turn on the engine and let it work for about 1 minute so the oil filter retains a bit of oil. In order to remove the pollen filter, you need to remove the two bolts indicated using the T20 Torx. Pull the cap and then the filter. Arm yourself with patience because the position isn't very comfortable. Put in the new pollen filter, we strongly recommend that you buy only carbon filters, but hey, it's your lungs, so it's your choice. The air filter on the new Logan is the simplest to change, just pull the rack out holding the two clips on the left and right sides. Place the new air filter inside the rack, insert the rack back in and you are done. Before celebrating, do a quick check of the brake fluid and the coolant. In this case the coolant level was low so we added some antifreeze and distilled water until it reached the indicated level. Place a note with the date of the maintenance, the due date for the next one, the mileage and type of oil used. And you are done! Congratulations wannabe mechanics!
Thank you very much for watching. Use the comments section for any questions or suggestions. And if you find our videos interesting, make sure you subscribe for the latest wannabe mechanic videos. Bye bye.